So here we have a Gen G PDX from gelblastergun.com that I've disassembled. I'm going to talk to you about how to disassemble it. And this is something I'm going to go ahead and do a spring upgrade in. It's already got a great gearbox with metal gears. I'm just going to go ahead and change out the springs. Now the Gen Gs in general are a better quality blaster, which means there's more parts to take apart. They're a little more difficult to take apart. Um, Taking them apart, I guess, isn't necessarily as difficult. Sometimes getting them back together can be a little more difficult. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, right? So first off, if you've looked at the Genji SLR, I showed how you remove the stock. This is a little similar, but it's different. So this actually does have here a spot that the stock screws in. So really, you just have to unscrew the battery cap, go down through here, and you'll have this in there and you just need to unscrew this and then that way you can slide that off and of course this you should be able to telescope off if you have this blaster that should be something you can figure out very easily so that's how you're going to remove the stock so you do have the one screw in there okay now you've got a pin here right so you got a big pin and these ones are just you know basically the pressure pins that push all the way through and stay put so you're going to pop it out from the other side now, again, on the front of this receiver, just like on the, the SLR, um, you do have a little hole right here. And so when this is pushed in, there's actually a little spring piece inside here that locks in there. So you need to poke something in there to push that in, to push that spring in, and then pull it out to the side like this. Okay? So that's something that's different right there. All right? So once you pop that out, you can just slide the top off, you know, put that to the side. Of course, here's your barrel nut. You know, this does have the nice attachment here for your outer barrel. And again, it's threaded, and this is a metal outer barrel, again, counterclockwise. So this is easier to adjust and add longer barrels on. However, being a better quality blaster like this too, most of the time these cylinders for these Gingies are set to this specific size barrel. So unless you're going to be replacing the cylinder and switching up uh, that to make sure that it's ported properly to go with a longer barrel, you're going to have some issues. And I ran into that with my um, SLR as well. And so with these better quality ones, the cylinders are typically set specifically for those size barrels. And you can't really switch up the barrel unless you're going to switch up the cylinder too, which just is a lot more involved. And when you get a nice gearbox like this already, I hate, I hate to open it up just because there's more chances that something will go wrong and you won't get it back together right, okay? So we're gonna keep it with that same barrel. We're just gonna do the spring upgrade. So other things you have to do here, okay? To get your piece off here, this is just an Allen wrench, and you just need to unscrew that because this is actually screwed in, okay? And you do need to get that out to get the gearbox out. You're going to have the one push pin through here that you're going to have to push out. And then you're going to have your selectors. So your selector here that actually has this little spring-lobed knob, that's on the side that actually um, goes right here. And this other one is on this side. Now this selector is ambidextrous. It works on both sides, but this is, it's very obvious because of this three little dots right here that that's where this piece goes for when you're putting it back together. Now those are connected to these gears, right? So this one with the bigger spot, this one actually goes right here, right on the gearbox. And that's what this screws into through there. Oh, excuse me, that's the other one. You do not want to lose these little spring-loaded pieces because if you do, then your selector won't click into place like it needs to. So sometimes when you're putting these back in here, this is where it can be difficult, is getting these back in here to line up properly. Um, you know, there's just different ways to try it, but that's the hardest part I've noticed with blasters like this is just getting these back in, sliding them in without things moving. And there's probably a good trick to doing it. I just haven't done enough of this type where I've uh, figured that out yet. For your mag release, that's just the simple Allen wrench right there to get that out. So nothing, nothing crazy there.
All right, so it's a little more labor intensive, just a little more, can be a little more difficult when you put it back together. Sometimes you get lucky, you don't have any issues. All I'm gonna do is pop this out. I've shown you guys spring changes hundreds of times, so I'm probably not going to show that to you and I don't have the spring yet. But all I'm gonna do is turn that, pop it out, put a different spring in, put this back together. And then I got some different ideas for some different cosmetic stuff I'm gonna do to it this time around. All right, again, so this is the Genji PDX from Gel Blaster Gun. And definitely the Genji blasters in general are better quality blaster. That's why they cost more, but they are better made, more heavy duty, better quality nylon, just kind of everything all around is better when it comes to them. So check them out there. Um, comments, questions, post them below. Like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, participate in those monthly giveaways, and win over $200 of custom blasters and accessories on my YouTube contest. Thanks.